this video is going to be my tips and advice that I can share from my personal experience on moving your baby from formula to cow's milk after they are 12 months old. That's something that we're going through at the moment and I thought it might be useful. I didn't see a lot of content about this out there on the internet when I was researching it, what to do, and hopefully this will be useful to some of you out there who are making the transition right now. That also works for going from breast milk to cow's milk. So the idea is that from 12 months your baby is able to have cow's milk as their main milk drink and I as a first-time mum didn't know how to do that and where to start. Just when you think you've got it all figured out with the formula making now you'll change it all again. The main reason for us doing the transition a couple of weeks before James's first birthday is because we're going abroad very soon and I didn't want to be carrying lots of formula bottles in our suitcases. It's quite a long trip and it's really hard to be carrying heavy cases full of formula. If he's already weaned onto cow's milk then it's much easier for us to just buy cow's milk when we get there. So we checked with our health visitor and she said it was fine to start gradually introducing the cow's milk a couple of weeks before his birthday and that's what we did and it seemed to have worked. So I'm going to tell you the advice that we got and what we did that didn't work and what we did that worked. The first advice that we got from our health visitor was to just go for it to swap the formula for the cow's milk and see how he takes it. And that kind of didn't work because James found the difference in taste quite difficult to get used to even though he likes cow's milk in his cereal. Um, he wasn't used to having cow's milk as a drink so he found that a bit tricky and he wasn't drinking his bottles, he was just leaving it and having a sip and then not wanting it. So I read some more and the next advice that I saw which I followed was to mix some formula with cow's milk. So first I started with more formula than cow's milk. James has eight ounce bottles um, in the morning and in the afternoon and then he has a four ounce bottle at night. So for his eight ounce bottle I used to do six ounces of formula, two ounces of cow's milk and for his four ounce bottle I'd do three ounces of formula and one ounce of cow's milk and that seemed to work and he drank the whole bottle. So then gradually throughout the two weeks I was reducing the amount of formula and increasing the amount of cow's milk until there was only very little formula and most of it was cow's milk. Nowadays he has all cow's milk, no more formula and he drinks the whole bottle. So it was just about getting his um, taste buds used to drinking cow's milk from a bottle. Um, in terms of him still having a bottle, I thought it might be best to take the bottle away after the cow's milk is completely established because two changes at once may upset him when we're sure that he likes it, that he takes it, then we're going to start to try and move him from the bottle to a sippy cup. But not before our trip abroad because I want to get over that before and then when we're back home and we're back to our normal routine then we'll do the the bottle part but the cow's milk part is done which is great. So that's the thing that worked for us was mixing formula and cow's milk. If we're out for the day it's much more convenient for us to take formula bottles than it is to take fresh cow's milk which can go off very quickly if it's not refrigerated but now I'm thinking of moving from formula to toddler milk in terms of having milk ready to go out and about and take out with us when we go away for the day. So although I knew that from 12 months onwards you don't have to sterilize bottles anymore I was a bit unsure whether or not you still had to sterilize bottles if you were putting formula in there or toddler milk and apparently you don't. So from 12 months you don't have to sterilize bottles anymore, they can go in the dishwasher, they can go with your main wash and that is it. That is brilliant and I've been looking forward to the, this day for a very very long time. Not that it's that hard to sterilize bottles but it does take a little bit of time from your evening which I would rather be doing something like catching up with what the Kardashians are doing or with my Twitter and my Instagram feed. My last tip is to buy a bottle warmer if your baby likes to drink warm milk. Now that's not something that you need necessarily, you could just boil some water, put it in a cup and then put the bottle in there to warm it up but I just find it much easier to have a bottle warmer. We have a Tommy Tippy one which is an electric bottle warmer and you pour some water in there, just a little bit of water, put the bottle in there, five minutes later the bottle is the perfect temperature, nice and warm, you don't have to wait 
for boiling kettle and then for warming up the bottle. I'm all about convenience and it's not that expensive so it really is worth it for me and we've been using it every day and it's very very handy. Um, so I would recommend getting a bottle warmer. If you can't get a bottle warmer then you can always warm up like I said with the kettle way. So these are my tips from our experience in moving from formula to cow's milk. I hope this was useful to some of you out there. If you have any questions please leave them on the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them if I know the answer to the questions. If you liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel already please do so. I would be very grateful if you did that. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you very soon. Bye!